yes hello guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to learn about an important topic uh, about azure blob storage and how to connect with power bi uh, you may wonder that uh, why uh, he is explaining about azure blob storage and connect with power bi what is the uh, i mean what is the uh, link between what is the connection between power bi and azure blob storage in the power bi we used to connect with uh, excel or csv or uh, or sometimes um, uh, maximum most times a sql server or teradata or these kind of things right but why uh, he is explaining about azure blob storage you may wonder but uh, but behind the scene you know one thing behind the scene all the, our power bi service data all of our data is going to store on azure blob only guys mm -hmm. so whenever you are going to log in with app.powerbi.com and when you go to uh, uh, giving all your PBX files and all your usernames, all these credentials, everything, whatever it may be, all your Power BI service data is going to store in Azure Blob only, guys. So, if you want me the proof, I will let me show you right now here only. Uh, where we are, where we are, where we are, yes, let me go to here. Let me open the Chrome, guys, okay? Okay, uh, let me go to Power BI service architecture, okay? Right now I am showing here. Okay, click on here. Why? Because in the interview, definitely they will ask you if it is a complex interview. I mean, if you if you are uh, if you are having more than three to five years experience of Power BI, definitely the question will be there. Where does all this data will be stored? If you see here uh, in the diagram, you can able to see it at Azure Blob. So that is the very importance of Azure Blob storage. Okay. If you see here, I am highlighting this point, guys. Data storage security. Power BI uses two primary repositories for storing and managing uh, data. Data that is uploaded from users is typically sent to Azure Blob Storage. That's what, guys. And metadata as well as artifacts for system stored in Azure SQL database. That's why Azure Blob Storage is very much important for Power BI service. Okay. Now we will uh, discuss about uh, these things, guys. Okay. So uh, let me click on the slideshow so that it will get clear visible to you. Why? Now importance of about uh, Azure Blob Storage. Why we use, you are using Azure Blob Storage? Of course, in the Power BI service, all our data is going to store. But now our agenda is we need to connect with the uh, Azure Blob Storage with Power BI and that we need to store that uh, uh, Azure Blob Storage CSV file into our Power BI desktop. That is our agenda, right? Okay. Now about Azure Blob Storage. Azure Blob Storage is used for storing massive amount of unstructured and structured data. Now the question arises, what is unstructured data? Unstructured data such as images, videos, audios and binary files etc. So these are unstructured data. So what is one with structured data? Structured data such as tables, CSV, Excel etc. So in our regular day-to-day uh, -day activities, so all our data, if you want to store any uh, any data in RDBMS like SQL Server or Oracle, so all the data is stored in form of rows and columns, something but tables. Now the question arises. So say example, uh, how about the images, uh, uh, movies, uh, MP4, video files, all this, uh, how can we able to uh, uh, store the data, where, where all this data getting stored? So for that one, the data is going to store in Azure Blob Storage, that Microsoft provides that facility is nothing but Azure Blob Storage. Okay, so of course Azure Blob Storage can be able to use both structured and unstructured data. Since our Power BI does not support right video files, audio files, in order to connect that one, so there is it will not support for. That's why we are using a sample Excel file, uploading into Power BI. Sorry, uploading into Azure uh, Blob Storage, and we connect with the Azure Blob Storage with the uh, Power BI account. So then we can able to upload the data. Okay play around on it now the process to connect azure blob with power bi first the, the first thing whenever you need to connect with the azure you should have a valid azure account okay and next thing is create a storage account resource next is create a blob storage and name it okay nothing but blob storage, nothing but we are creating a container okay and upload the data in azure blob storage finally connect azure blob url or azure blob name account name with power bi using access keys of azure blob Without any delay, let's get into our demo, guys. So, first of all, first of all, we need a valid Azure account. So, this is the valid Azure account I'm having. Portal Azure.com. Okay. Now we need to create a resource for that. Already I'm having storage account. Okay. 
click on storage accounts okay you can ignore this guys okay so if you see here storage account azure storage is a microsoft managed service providing cloud storage that is highly available securable durable scalable and redundant azure storage include azure blobs azure data lake storage azure files azure quick queues and azure tables so now our agenda is azure blobs so okay uh, just a free tile i'm using just click click on resource group the create new uh, connect uh, what do we say azure connect blob with pba okay the thing is here guys uh, oh, again click on create new click on here uh, connect azure blob with pba okay click on here okay our resource group has been created if you if you want about resource group what is resource group resource group is nothing but guys uh, simply uh, where all our uh, uh, resources are stayed in the container say example like apple store or uh, google uh, play store all our apps are storing in this play store nothing but just assume that it is a container which all, it is all, all store uh, all our resources are getting stored into that group okay now you need to create a storage account name storage account name uh, test azure pba okay i am using uh, i am stays in south india so it is near to me okay let's click on south india as uh, my okay region azure region so pba x let me write here okay and now keep it as usual okay storage account name just remember the storage account name okay click on review plus create so looking for validation validation pass click on create okay it will take a process guys so meanwhile we will uh, go to uh, power bi desktop we will uh, we'll uh, just see the process how to connect uh, with the uh, power bi with azure blob storage meanwhile so it will take time little bit time uh, make sure uh, select the nearest azure region so that you will not get any issues okay so this is uh, this is the power bi can close it this is the power bi desktop guys okay now in order to get azure prop store click on get data okay sorry click on more so since blob storage azure blob storage is storing uh, is the module of azure cloud so click on azure okay let me see yes click on azure okay here azure blob storage is there yes you need for, for azure blob storage you need account name or url till now we are not created for that one we need to go for whether it is completed or not okay yes it is completed now go to resource okay so this is the storage account name uh if you click on overview here our blob service is there okay click on blob service and click on here container we need to create a container okay my, my blob container okay okay you can click on here you can use it to private okay click on create my blob container now okay container just try to upload okay try to upload a file okay now i'm trying to upload a sample uh, excel or csv file into this azure blob storage i will uh, connect azure blob storage with this uh, power bi desktop so i can able to load this excel file into my power bi desktop that is the agenda guys okay so i am using here okay text if you want to see before that i, I just want to show you that uh, okay just want to show you that test calc what is the data inside resets okay so that you will get a clear idea nothing but uh, this is the you can ignore this guys okay just it is having the three columns uh, product cost price selling price like apple grapes peanuts 10 25 10 50 100 okay okay just remember that just close this close this where we are we are here right okay click on upload so it is it uh, the data has been the excel uh, file has been uploaded into azure blob storage now thing is we need to connect with power bi desktop for that again go to um, home go to storage account okay copy this storage account test azure blob pbx okay i can now go to power bi desktop click on here okay 
click on okay okay what it's saying please enter a value okay we need to go here blob service this one right we need to click on my blob container copy to clip clipboard copy it. where we are okay you can use this guys okay click on ok now we need to uh, as I as we discussed that we need to give account key so for that account key again we need to go to here uh, okay where we are where we are we need to go again for this uh, storage account there in the storage account there we can see here access keys uh, for access keys uh, just rotate key again okay it will generate a new access key and uh, here you can able to click on show keys click on here copy to clipboard so this is the one right test azure block pbx we are using our storage account name now we are copying this uh, access keys and we are entering here okay click on connect so this happens something guys again we need to do again the same thing we need to do click on rotate key click on yes this happens uh, sometimes click on again copy to clipboard okay again control a and control b click on connect again this happens click on anonymous again close cancel use the same process sometimes it is it will take like that click on more more azure let me complete Azure, okay. Azure blob storage. Let me try again once again. Account name or URL. So this is the access key. So account name. What is the account name we are using? Test Azure blob PBIX. Okay. This is the account name we are using. Sorry. This is storage account name. Let me go to. Uh, let me go to blob service on blob container click on here test okay just copy here okay copy to clipboard click on ok and the account key uh, I can go to here uh, storage account access keys now show keys click on show keys click on copy to clipboard and here paste it guys let me see again why it's not working no see now we can able to connect so this is the process again we need to repeat sometimes okay yes there you go click on my blob container so this is the one right excel file uh, we have uploaded click on here now click on transform data so it will transform to power query data this process all you know okay click on here binary okay import it text click on here table that's it guys this is the one right we have uh, seen uh, the, the the one we which we which we uh, uploaded into larger blob storage the same thing we connected to power bay desktop now we can able to see here so that's it guys if you want to uh, use first order headers that's it can close and apply it will automatically load into power bay desktop let me see it will take time so this is the one right guys this is the one right we have used it okay cost price selling price we want to see okay selling price product cost price is the one only right we have seen so it will take time why because we are connecting to cloud right it will take time okay this is the one right we have taken if you want to see the excel file i will open right now if you want to excel for this one excel file right we have this is the one right that's that's it guys simply we have taken uh, this excel file we have uploaded this excel file into uh, Azure blob storage then we used power way to connect with Azure blob 
with Microsoft Power BI. That's it, guys. If you want to see here again, just go to Power BI Desktop. Okay, Home. Okay, Transform Data and Data Source Settings. See, if you see here, Data Source Settings, nothing but we are using Azure Blob. See, that's it, guys. Now, from here, I am ending my ending, ending my video. If you have any doubt, kindly connect, uh, comment in the comment section, guys. I am happy to help you. So uh, of course this is a simple thing but uh, you should have an idea about how this Azure Blob and Microsoft can integrate for that you need to you need to have an access key sometimes access key may not work again the process again you need to be, be due to because of caches or something again you need to close the Power BI desktop again you need to create a new access keys uh, again you need to connect with Power BI desktop so this is the process guys so make sure to connect with all utilize all Azure cloud uh, uh, resources like uh, Blob storage, SQL, uh, SQL, uh, Azure SQL database like Cosmos. So you will get a clear idea about how Power BI is compared with Azure also. Why? Because uh, your on-premises data is moving to Azure Cloud. So definitely in future you are not going to work on on-premises. Mostly 80% companies are migrating to cloud. So you may get requirement to connect with the Azure Blob or sometimes you need to connect with Azure SQL database. So you should have an idea. That's why uh, this video is lengthy, bit lengthy. But you should have an understanding of uh, Azure Cloud and Azure Blob Storage. Also, in an interview, they will ask uh, where Power BI service will data resides, so that you should able to answer this. Okay. From here, I'm ending and video. Uh, I'm ending my video, guys. If you have any doubt, kindly comment in the comment section. I'm happy to help you. Thank you, guys.